This is Randy Ortiz reporting for the Data Center Journal. In February of 2007, the Green Grid, a global consortium dedicated to advancing energy efficiency in data centers, published its report entitled Green Metrics, describing data center power efficiency. This report attempted to raise awareness to data center power efficiency and provide support for data center metrics. The report covered two key metrics, which are power usage effectiveness, PUE, and its reciprocal data center efficiency, DCE. PUE is defined as the total power usage from the utility just for the data center divided by the total power usage by the IT equipment in the data center. Now that these two metrics have been floating around for more than a year, it was expected and has received some criticism. In reviewing blogs and article comments regarding PUE, we have found several comments that note the PUE number can be manipulated to favor your data center. One blogger from Search Data Center blog comments, I've always had my doubts about PUE. For one thing, a data center manager can consolidate applications on a smaller number of servers, thereby reducing power consumption. But if it puts his UPS, power distribution, and cooling lower on the efficiency curve, his PUE gets worse. Another blogger comments, I agree, a PUE value is meaningless without the information on how and when it is measured, especially in the data center housing area. I have lots of question marks on the PUE value they advertise with. Our own informal survey conducted on the Data Center Journal has most readers noting that the PUE metric needs to be revised or does not properly represent data center efficiency. This subject has not only become a discussion topic amongst data center bloggers, but has received comment from the Uptime Institute's founder and CEO Ken Brill. The following video is a presentation by the Uptime Institute given by Ken Brill on four metrics to find data center greenness, and in it he discusses his opinion of the PUE metric. Green Grid is a, uh, the computer manufacturers uh, see, have seen this crisis coming. Uh, they started two years ago to form a uh, industry group uh, that would start to talk about energy efficiency in data centers. Unfortunately, the group is primarily driven by vendors. Uh, very few users participate, um, but they're doing a lot of good work. One of the first things they recommended was this PUE, which is pro, uh, Power Utilization Effectiveness, which is our site infrastructure energy overhead. Uh, we don't like the word PUE because uh, it just looks at power. We think we should be looking at energy. Uh, the other problem with uh, power is power is an instantaneous measurement. Uh, so you, power, by definition, PUE is a spot measurement. Uh, and we think that you have to do longitudinal measurements. Of course, if you took PUE over a 12-month period, it would be a, we'd be fine with that. But they don't define that in their standard. So you have power utilization effectiveness. Um, and the problem, so the, I have a problem with the P, which is power. I think it should be E for energy. Utilization is OK. And effectiveness, I have a problem with that as well, because effectiveness, you know, um, Efficiency, a high number is better than a low number. Uh, but if you look at the ratio here, a high number is bad and a low number is good. So directionally, P, the word effectiveness is really the wrong word. It should really be ineffectiveness. So if they were to call it energy utilization ineffectiveness, I'd have no problem with it. And then DCIE is data center, I don't know what the I stands for, uh, E, but it's the reciprocal of PUE. It's, so it's infrastructure. Infrastructure, okay. Um, what's the, oh, you, effectiveness. That's the Efficiency. E. Data. Is it efficiency? Okay. I think the IT guys would, uh, would, would sort of challenge data center efficiency as being a power or, or an electrical measurement. I think they would probably want to include some other things. So that's one of the problems I have with that. But, but these are the two ratios. And we're, we're, uh, we're talking, the Institute's talking about the same thing with uh, what we call the site infrastructure energy overhead. Now let's look at some of the benefits of what Green Grid has done. It's gotten widespread acceptance. Uh, at least one of you knew about it. It has encouraged people to start.
start uh, benchmarking. Uh, there's a program with uh, DOE uh, that uh, people are doing. They're actually making these measurements and reporting them, and sometime next year uh, we'll be getting some feedback as to uh, good and bad numbers. Uh, and I think it's really spurred, in, in a way, you know, I've been talking about this for five years, but on my own haven't, at least within our own network, not too many people have uh, done anything. Um, so, in a way, Green Grid has been beneficial in getting more widespread adoption. The disadvantages are that it doesn't distinguish between power and energy, um, that it's a spot measurement and it's valid only at an instant in time. Um, the results are ambiguities, which make it hard to determine the correct PUE, and what we already see happening is competitive manipulation and gaming. And at least within the network members, they're, they're getting tired of being called in to explain to their management why their PU, why somebody else has a PUE that's half of theirs. Uh, and it's just really, I mean, I've heard people say they have a PUE of 0.8, <laughs> which is physically impossible. Uh, there are people talking about PUEs of 1.2. What they don't tell you is all the things that go into that, and because the people who are doing that aren't really in the same business as most of the people on this call. In response to the comments, we have received a quote from the Green Grid, which states, Power usage effectiveness is a ratio that allows data center managers to judge how much of the total power coming into your data center is reaching your IT equipment. While a PUE of 1.0 is ideal, anything over 1.0 represents power overhead. Power used to light or cool the data center, deliver physical security, or to deliver power to equipment. The Green Grid developed PUE with the primary purpose of providing data center operators with a mechanism to gauge their individual data center's use of power over time, and to help determine whether changes to the data center or facility infrastructure are having a positive effect. The statement continues by saying, while PUE can be used to compare different data centers to each other, there are several other factors that must be considered when doing this, as the PUE will be affected by things such as climate conditions, IT loading, and reliability of the facility design. For example, a data center with low utilization and highly redundant systems in Arizona is likely to have a higher PUE than a highly utilized, minimal redundancy data center in Oregon. PUE cannot effectively compare two data centers based on different types of equipment alone. This was not the intent of the Green Grid in the initial release of PUE and its sister metric, DCE. In addition to the Green Grid's recently published paper, the Green Grid's Metrics Data Center Infrastructure Efficiency Detailed Analysis, which describes how to conduct detailed measurements for PUE and DCE. The Green Grid has just published the Green Grid Productivity Indicator white paper and is also developing a usage guide that will outline how to more effectively or accurately use PUE and DCE. The statement closes by saying, we are also working on metrics to include the useful output of the IT equipment. However, the most important takeaway from this discussion is don't wait for these future papers. Start measuring and tracking PUE now, even if the measurements are not initially perfect or include some best estimates, it's worth getting started. We have never heard anyone who has actually started measuring and tracking PUE say they have not benefited from it. So what are you waiting for?" End quote. The PUE metric, like the tier standards developed by the Uptime Institute years ago, will always have comments and room to grow and change, but it will take you, the data center professional, to make that happen. This is Randy Ortiz reporting from the Data Center Journal.